I got a 3D printer! This 3D printing company, TiVo, was all like, hey, you want a 3D printer? And I was all like, heck yeah, I do! And they sent me a 3D printer! Specifically, the Tornado. That's the uh, brand name of one of their printers, by the way, not the uh, weather phenomenon. Uh, that's one of the more interesting spellings of my last name. Jacob, what? They also sent me some Prima filament, both black and transparent, which I hadn't even considered before, as I'm new to 3D printing. But in theory, I could use that to print visors. So initially, I thought this was going to be an intimidating build, because based on the picture, it looked like it had a lot of parts that I'd have to assemble myself. However, it arrived almost completely pre-assembled. Literally, all I had to do was attach the heated portion of the print bed, as well as the vertical axis to the horizontal axis. Oh, by the way, that pattern is a factory test print of their logo, so you know that the machine works. This machine utilizes all aluminum joints, which is a huge improvement over previous designs that have used acrylic joints. Those tended to shake, whereas the metal ones don't. It comes with motors and limit switches already attached. They even sent some itty bitty zip ties, in case I want to bundle the wires more than how they already come, which I think I'm going to do because I don't want them to get snagged on one of the corners. And of course, they sent me all the Allen wrenches I could possibly need, which is great, I'm getting quite a collection, and an extra extruder nozzle, which honestly I probably should have been more excited about than the zip ties, right? I mean, one's a bit more important than the other. The heated print bed is adjustable, so that will require a little bit of manual calibration. You do that just by telling the extruder to go to each corner of the print bed and adjusting the level so that you can fit a piece of paper between the extruder and the print bed and feel just a little bit of drag as you pull it back out. You'll need to do that a few times for each corner to get the best results. Honestly, you're going to spend more time calibrating the printer than putting the thing together which in my opinion is the way it should be. Tornado has a print volume of 300 by 300 millimeters on the X and Y axis and 400 millimeters on the Z axis, which personally I'm really excited about because with that kind of working area, I could actually print helmets. And you know, once I get to that point, I'd like to time out how long it takes to print a helmet versus the traditional way that I make them by hand and definitively find out which way is faster and yields the better result. And now that I have the Tornado, I can actually do that. Additionally, the build plate is heated and you can adjust the build plate temperature either using your slicing software or on the machine itself. You can get a free copy of the slicing software by following the links in the manual that comes with your machine, however, you will need to adjust the settings to match the model of the machine that you bought. Those instructions are also outlined in the manual, which you'll receive in both practical and PDF format. I'm thrilled to have a machine with a heated print bed because I've found that Machines without one sometimes yield prints that sort of bow upward and away from the bed if they happen to be objects with a really wide but thin base. The heat bed comes with insulation underneath to allow it to heat up quickly. So don't peel that off. That's not packing material. That's meant to be there. The heat bed takes about four minutes to heat up, which personally, I have no frame of reference, but I've heard that that's a really good heat time. Other machines take a lot longer. And literally, it's just that piece of insulation underneath that makes all the difference. For now, I've just done a few simple test such as this rocket engine, because occasionally I get hired to build spaceship miniatures, so this is uh, more useful benchy to me than that little boat that everyone loves so much. And here's a spaceship! Thanks for watching, everybody! If you're interested in the TiVo Tornado, other TiVo products, or even just the primer print filament, then you can check out the links below. Alright, I want to thank the folks over at TiVo for sending me the Tornado, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching. See you later! Jake out! Hey, does anybody out there want to send me a lathe?